the story. Hey guys, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. I want to jump on today to kind of discuss the topic of the story. Uh, we all live in the story. Um, and that can be a lot of different things based on where we are, what's been our experience, who we are, what we're incurring, what we're ex experiencing going through on so many different levels. Um, so I want to kind of talk about the story, you know, as far as what we continue to keep living out um, from that perspective. Because when we're in that perspective, we're actually in the past because it's not in the present moment, but you bring it from the past into the present moment. And so then you live from that space. And so from that space, we are either in turmoil or suffering because we're not in the present moment for one. And then whatever it is that we have experienced, we're living that out on a certain level, projecting and seeing from it in order for it to be healed and to come out, to be relieved and to be, you know, let go of, to heal and transform it, right? And so to relieve it is to release it, right? And so then we don't live from that space anymore. And so a lot of times that will come up when there's been traumatic experiences from childhood or past lives. And so they reoccur on the timeline based on where you are, where you're able to kind of like tapping and tuning into it. But it's more of the awareness of where you are and what is relating to that experience. So that's where a lot of triggers will come in, which will bring it up, right? And so when we were actually in the timeline and it's circling back around, which is called the cycles, we're experiencing and re-experiencing that from that point of view. So for instance, if we've had a traumatic experience ourselves or our families, our loved ones, you know, we may keep playing it out, right? In the experience, and that's the story. It's actually the story that has become is an energy and vibration that continues to evolve over time and the experience. Now the problem with that is when we're in that space, we're not in the present moment because we're in the past. We're bringing it into the future, which can recreate in the, in the future. Now that is not always stereotypical correct because depending on what that is, it may not even be happening. It's just that we are living in it. It's the illusion, the delusion of it because we are seeing from that point of view when we are projecting that into the world whenever we're triggered from seeing it from that point of view. And so as we are in that viewpoint that we're projecting, we are having and recreating that experience for ourselves. So for instance, if you've had a child who's been through traumatic experience, you may have taken a snapshot of that experience, right? And so your traumatic experience of that um, is valid right? However, it's only in that time and moments. And it's when we continue to hold it and carry it out that we're continuing to create it, that karmic cycle, that pattern. So whenever we are with that child, we're always reminded of it. And so we're reliving that suffering on a certain level of our existence without really being there in the past because we can never go back to the past, but we can access the past from the present moment with whatever's going on now, which will trigger and relate to whatever what was in the experience. And if you're choosing that timeline, time frame again, you're recycling it, you're reliving it, you're adding more energy to that. So then you're in more suffering. The more suffering you are, the more you become in that experience. And that's why it could be, that's why they, what they call PTSD, past traumatic syndrome, right? Um, past traumatic stress syndrome. So instead of replaying it out, release it, relieve it, right? Take a new snapshot because if that person isn't in that space anymore, it's no longer valid, right? Let it go, heal it, it happens, it's okay. You're valid of that, but you don't need to keep it and carry it and bring it into the present moment. And if there is something that you can release it, then there's some healing that you need to do which may relate to a past life or something else that your soul needs to work out, your karmic wheel of why it keeps coming back, right? And because if we cannot do it, heal it, or free it, or release it, then there's something more to it, right? 
And so if you're looking at your daughter who may have had been in a traumatic experience and she's no longer in that space and she's fine now, you're still going to see her from that point of view. You're not going to see her from the present moment and her fineness, right? So you're living in illusion and delusion. She's not, but you're projecting that upon her. And so that is experience that may recur and re happen that you're adding to that for that to happen. So we're helping that recreation of that experience. Now, whether that's in this lifetime, they may have that continuous recycle or in the future, a future life, right? And so that's the experience that we're creating and we don't realize that we're doing this. It's an unconscious process that hasn't been evolved or developed uh, from that point of view, which we're holding on to. It's a snapshot of that experience which we keep playing out in our minds and our hearts and our feelings and who we think that we are um, versus why we came here to experience, to understand it, to have that understanding, that viewpoint, um, and to learn from it, right? So because we feel like we, are, we have our soul existence and our human ex existence, which the human goes through, but then the soul is there to observe it and to learn from it and to understand it. And so... It's the projection of that keeps happening and releasing it can help heal it. But again, if we're going to just hold on to it, you know, it's, it's going to just be a recurring, of, you know, occurrence. And so if we are <clears throat> ourselves reliving that out, looking at our daughter uh, who is fine now from that point of view, where we're projecting onto them. And so then at some point, you know, if we're adding to it and we're kind of, that's how we see them. And that can be for anything. Like if you have um, family members and addictions, you know, um, and they've now don't use uh, drugs anymore, but you're always going to see them that way. It's because it's a shot, snapshot that you've taken. That's your frame of reference to them, your identity, your attachment to them. This is how I know this person. But if I am taking that as my truth, then I can't see beyond, and that's all that I see about them. It's the illusion of the reality, which you are choosing to take, instead of seeing them as you are, or they are in the present moment. So when we can take a new snapshot of their existence now that they are whole and well, then we can change that frame of reference and let that go. And we no longer add to it in our own illusion or our projection outside of ourselves, but we're allowing them to be free of who they used to be, right? And so then they can be free to move on and evolve. So we have a lot of part and play and role in it. And although we think that we don't, we do. We're choosing to see that about them. And so that can create friction and suffering between the relationships of who they are now and who you are, uh, what you're seeing and what you're choosing to see about them. Because we all have things that we go through. And it doesn't mean that because they were it in the past, they are it in the present moment. And as we learn from it, we can see it. So if I can put that down, who they used to be, and be like, okay, what is, who are they now in this present moment? Because we're always evolving beings, right? And so when we can see who they are now, then we can release and let that go. Because you're actually taking a new snapshot in that frame of reference to you can, who you can see them now as, right, in that present moment. And you're helping them to evolve from that point, right? And because they're now new in your eyes, Right? which is a realization of who they truly are, not who they used to be. Because when we see them as they used to be, then they're only replaying that out in your mind until you choose to take another snapshot, um, which is by free choice and will. And so we always have that free choice and will to choose anything. right? And so why not choose their wellness, their health and their well-being if they are not currently in that space anymore? right? Why not say, okay, I choose to let that go and to see them in a new light? Who they truly are and they are in the moments right and so allow that to be your new snapshot to take the place of the old and let that go so that way you don't keep adding to that karmic ties or that cycle you know of the past and just let it go and evolve into the present moment right um, and then that changes the whole dynamics of who you are in the moment from that perspective with that relationship because if we're holding um, something somebody did to you, you know, of course it's going to be different scenarios. So for instance, if your child is doing drugs, you know, they're addicts and then they've done something to hurt you, that's a different experience than, you know, somebody had gone through a car accident 
and they're in the hospital, that's a different experience. They didn't hurt you, but it's still traumatic to you. So those are, but they're still, they're different scenarios, but they're still snapshots, frame of reference to what you can bring into the future and have that experience, or if it was something you did, right? You're bringing it into the, to the present moment from that space whenever that comes up for you, whenever that's something related to that situation that may spark that trigger to bring it forward, right? So for instance, um, maybe you kept having bad relationships because your parents had bad relationships. So every time a experience of a relation comes up, you know, it could be a trigger point for you because you don't want to go into it. And so you keep yourself out of the relationships. So or protection, right? And so then you don't have a new experience, you're portraying the past into the future of what that's going to be. And so you keep recreating that same thing, whether your child is an addict and hurt you, or your child's been in the hospital and hurt you, or you've had repeated, um, repetitive experiences in relationships, you know, same thing. It's be pulling from the past into the present, the, the, the present moment, uh, recreating it, in your future, the snapshot, instead of letting it go and taking a new snapshot of where you are, because even in your being of having a relationship, you're a new being, you're a new, new person in this moment. If you've learned from your past, right, and you've made that changes or you've worked on yourself, because we're always evolving, right, from every moment. And so from now, um, we can have the new relationship on a different perspective and level than where we were before. But if we bring in or triggered about old relationships, we bring that energy and vibration and perspective in the moment and we project it out. And so then that is projected onto the future relationship. And so then we suffer that relationship. And so it's recreating of it um, from perspective, which a lot of people call karma, but it's just our perspective that we live in, that space, that snapshot that we take. Um, and so really whenever those triggers come up, or that perception, whatever is outside of you relating to that scenario that you can connect to it, right? Because everything is in relation, um, like related to. So that's where triggers come from. So like if something reminds you of the past, it's a related scenario that you're going into in the moment. So that way you can let it go. Those are the dynamics of changing your perspective, right? And so that happens on different levels, which changes your dynamics, which is the reality that you live in. So it's a timeline, right? And so to try and clear that up a little bit about the dynamics, um, it's just, you know, because it is just a perspective that we live in. A lot of people want to call it karma or cycles, paths, things like that, but it's just a perspective that we're living in. And because it loops, you know, it's the cycles, it's the karma. It's the replaying out of it uh, from that point of view. And so whenever you are going into a scenario where there might be a potential uh, same scenario related to your past experience coming up into the present moment or the future, which doesn't exist yet, but we're creating it in the moment. Um, whenever we have that potential, wherever we are in the moment, that might trigger that to come in, whatever that is. Um, it's it's a potential to replay it out, but it's actually coming up for you to take a look at it and change it. It's an opportunity to change and heal in the present moment what you have of the past. And so when you are able to be aware and conscious of your present moment, of what is karmic, what is the wheel, what is going need to be changed in your life, um, we can do that. We can look at it and say, okay, I need to heal this because it keeps coming up. It's a cycle, becoming aware of your cycles and your patterns. And then when we can do that, we can make change and be effective in our own lives and transform and heal ourselves. But if we're maybe not aware of it or unconscious, um, we're going to continue that change of perspective from the past into the future. And we're going to keep living it until we're ready and wanting to change it, right? And so that comes sometimes at a point of where we're really struggling and suffering. Um, and you know, we get so tired of suffering that we're just ready, to, okay, I, I give up. <laughs> you know, it's like uncle playing, you know, that game uncle. Um, and so it's, it's just the replaying out of, of old stuff, but like just being aware of your present moment space and what is um, the truth about the, the moment or, or is it a projected 
past experience that we're playing out in the present moment and then recreating into the future, right? And so we have the timeline of past, present, and future, which is linear, right? It's only subjective to your 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 being, who you truly are, where you are in that moment. Am I being true source, um, which doesn't have that, or are we being in the the human version, right, which has all that information, right? Because a lot of people will say, oh, well, the soul is the tainted one, um, and then the human is, you know, not, right? But it's actually opposite. The human has it that carries along the karmic, and then the soul is the pure one that's come from source into the body, takes it up, and then plays out the roles in the experience, which the human version carries out, right? So because when you go back to source, you're cleansed of all that. So it's not you, it's you bringing back, coming back in. So the soul is not the tainted one, right? Um, and so from that perspective, if we haven't worked on it and dealt with it, you know, we're going to carry it into the, per, you know, into the future, which is, it's just perspective. So again, like for instance, if you have the experience of your child being in traumatic experience, you know, are we seeing them in their wellness? their present current moment, or are we playing that out? Because then when we are in that space and we're talking about it, we're sharing it and we're living it, we're projecting it, it's we're recreating, we're adding to it and we're giving it more energy and vibration. So then it can become, it's like a living existence, right? And you're adding to it every time you revisit it, you know, until you're ready to, to, to let go. And because we can't see beyond it, we live in that illusion. So that's how we see that person. In that, and so we play out that oh, you know, the, they're the victim. You know, they've been hurt. You know, oh my baby. You know, we keep living that out instead of seeing them as who they truly are now in the moment, how they've evolved and they're no longer ill and sick. But we keep replacing that, you know, truth with our illusion. So hopefully that helps, and I kind of explained it in a way that you can understand um, from that point of view what they're they're sharing with me. Um, you know, to discuss. Uh, for you. So if you have any questions, uh, just let me know. Um, it's not that, you know, anything is not valid of your experience, but at some point, you, you the projection, you want to kind of get rid of that. You don't want to have that continuing out there because you're just recreating the frame of reference, which is going to add to suffering because everything changes, everything evolves. And so wherever they are now, you're not seeing it because you're blinded by what you're seeing about them of the past. So it's like this it's hard to explain. It's like this shield, like you can't see it. Though there's nothing there. It's this illusion, right? It's like the matrix. They say this energetic space that you're in. Because projection, thoughts, emotions, feelings, you can't see. Those are vibrational, and so that's the experience that you're having, projecting, you know, onto the other person, which can create illusion, disillusion between you and that person in the relationship, but also. How you feel about them will resurface what you see about them who you think they are you know at that time frame and that's the only thing because you have made that snapshot of who you think they are because they had that experience um doesn't mean that they are that forever right we all change we all evolve i'm a whole different person than i used to be so from that perspective you know just take a look at it in your life see where it is that you're projecting and bringing in, you know, who is this person? How can I see this person in a new light? Are they still this person or am I just projecting that upon them? Because that's how I know them from the past. And that will help you clear up a lot of things and start living from a new space in your own life, right? And so it helps to heal not just them, but you and able to cleanse and clear that so you don't keep replaying that out in future lives. So hopefully it helps. Um, it's the dynamics of our lives of where we are in the moment. Um, and our present perception of reality. Happy journeys. Thanks for tuning in.